International Northern, but it's fitted with a mount engine, single overhead cam. It's got the close ratio um, Dole Z uh, Manx gearbox. Um, and this bike is also fitted with the TT oil tank with the oil filler on the left hand side. Because obviously the bits changed size, didn't they? And they had it on this side, sort of thing. When I got the bike, um, it had been used for sprinting or hill climbing because it was running on methanol. And they'd cut the cylinder head fins off halfway and they'd shave the barrel and everything. So when I started to use it for track only parading sort of thing, um, it was overheating. So we cast a new bronze skull head and the, the barrel and machined it all ourselves and got the bike going. And as you see, this is it now sort of thing. I, I use it for parades uh, and shows sort of thing. Um, but when I was at Cywell um, a couple of years ago, um, according to the gearing, I got up to about 115 on the straight, and I had nothing but admiration for the guys that were racing these in 1934 on the TT course with girder forks, no rear suspension, and the tyres they had on. And the road surface was not as good as this. I had a very similar discussion to that with John McGuinness a couple of years ago, and it was when he was the outright lap record holder, and I, I asked him what he thought was the fastest lap around the TT course. And he looked at me like I was stupid. And he said, well, it's me. And I said, so, sorry, John, it's not. It's Freddie Frith in 1937, who lapped at 90 miles an hour on something very much like this. Okay, let's make some noise with her. Big one. 